hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i will be going through my photo card binder i only have just this one binder so uh, this video probably won't be as long as a lot of people's photo card binders videos but hopefully it's still enjoyable so like i mentioned i do just have this one binder i think this is a one and a half inch binder it's just from staples and i get all of my um like photo card sleeves from amazon as well so i do just want to mention before i get into it that i know i have a lot of photo cards like i don't have as many as a lot of people who make youtube videos but i do still recognize that i have quite a few so please don't feel like you need to compare yourself to anybody else or like feel sad or anything like that because you don't have any obviously like i have a job so that's how i can afford this but everybody's situation is different and doesn't make you any less of a fan or anything like that if you don't have any so i just wanted to say that before i get into the video so as you can see on the outside of my binder i just have some stickers so these two are um ace stickers this is from the bts burn the stage movie and then just some other bts stickers and then on the side as well, I'm sorry if you can't see this, but on the side I just have some more ACE and um, BTS stickers. So that's the outside and then when you open it, oh my gosh, I need to like move everything around here, hold on. I just have some extra like um, papers, like inserts. These are from um, Persona album and then just this like RJ sticker. It's honestly really plain on the inside, but Anyway, so that's like the binder itself. So now let's get into my photo cards. Okay, so as you can see at the front here, I have my BTS photo cards. I have these like insert paper things that I made for all of the groups that I collect. Um, they're pretty ugly, honestly. <laughs> like I didn't spend very much time on them. So just ignore that fact as we go through this. But um, I do have them separated by group and then within each group I have them chronologically so you'll see what I mean as we go through but let's start with BTS okay, so I do want to say before I start my BTS photo cards some of them are separated by album and then others aren't as we get into newer eras just because I don't have as many photo cards and stuff so you'll see what I mean but um anyways so we start off with ORE late 2 so you can see I'm only missing three cards for this one too these ones are pretty easy to find I'm just it, on eBay right now, like a lot of the sellers that I normally buy for or buy from rather are not shipping right now, I think just because of like COVID and stuff. So you can find all of these photo cards. It's just like they're really expensive right now for some reason. So um, I haven't really expanded on my photo card collection that much recently, except for like what I've bought in albums. So um, yes, but anyways, so this is ORE Late 2 and then... <laughs> It's so funny that this is the second page and it's like already kind of a mess. Like my photo card binder is just honestly a mess in general. But um, because I only had like this one school of affair photo card and I didn't want it to just be an, on its own page. I just put these Medi heel things that I had on this page. So um, that's why <laughs> these Jin photos are here. But um, yes, this is my school love affair photo card. I honestly like I don't think that I'll ever fully collect. Oh my gosh, I just mess that up i don't think that i'll fully collect school love affair ever just because i don't like them <laughs> like the sizes are really off and then also i'm like should i try and collect all of them that are like this and then that would make it even harder or should i collect both sets where they're like doing the other hand things and honestly it just seems like a lot for cards that i don't even really like so i'll probably try and get gins at some point but and then maybe one more so then i can like put them in a three pocket sleeve but yeah, I don't think that I ever will <laughs> finish these collections, but we'll see. And then we have Dark and Wild. This collection, honestly, I don't know. I would love to collect all of them, but it's kind of lower on my priority list in terms of BTS photo cards, just because like, I don't like how they're horizontal photo cards. So I don't know eventually i'll get all of them but they've i've seen them go for kind of expensive recently so i'm like mm, that's even less motivation to complete this because i don't want to spend a lot of money on these cards but yes i did pull this one in my album and then i bought jins because he's my bias so i was like may as well <laughs> and then we have the most beautiful moment in life part one so i pulled the group photo card and hobie in my albums and then these are just for map of the soul seven i just use these as fillers because 
um, they fit nicely in here. So just ignore these. You'll see these a few more times, but yeah, anyways. So um, I kind of like, I'm happy I pulled the group card because I feel like that one goes for the most expensive, but I kind of wish I didn't because now they're different sizes and it looks really awkward. So until I collect more of these, it's just going to keep looking awkward. But anyways, <laughs> so that's the most beautiful moment in life part one. And then we have the most beautiful moment in life part two. So I am just missing Yoongi and Jungkook. Uh, I pulled these two members the least out of everybody. So you will notice as we continue that I don't have, especially Yoongi, I don't have a lot of Yoongi cards, but Anyways, those are the only two I'm missing for this one, so I will get them eventually, hopefully, but again, I'm not really buying photo cards right now, so it'll stay like this for a while. And then I just have Young Forever. I honestly hate these photo cards. I just like, especially Tay, let me pull him out. Like, I just don't understand why they put this weird like filter on, like why are his lips that color? It just confuses me. It feels like I could have just printed these myself honestly so I don't know I don't know if I'll ever collect these I probably end up or I probably will end up doing it just because it's BTS but I don't really want to <laughs> so for now I just have the two that I pulled in my albums but I do like this one because he has the freckles but still I just don't like these Polaroids but anyways moving on we have you never walk alone and I'm actually only missing Yoongi for this one I a friend actually recently gifted this one to me so um very happy <laughs> about that she did not have to do that but um she did because it's kind of been my unicorn card like I've been having trouble finding it so um she managed to find it which was so nice of her so I am only missing Yoongi who I will by pretty soon here probably just so that I can have this set complete but yes this will be my first completed set I don't know if that's a spoiler but I don't have any completed sets um and then moving on we have wings these in terms of polaroids like don't make me as angry as some of the other ones but I still wish that we had real photo cards honestly but I was lucky enough when I bought all four versions of wings to not pull any duplicates like I was praying so hard that I didn't pull duplicates um, and I was lucky enough not to so these are the members that I pulled and I do want to get the other cards it's just a little lower on my priority list right now so I haven't as of yet but I will eventually. And then we get into Love Yourself Her. So these are the last sets that I have like split up. Um, and then after this, I just have everything on one page. So um, this is Love Yourself Her version L, version O. This is my favorite set. And this is the set that I um, want to complete the most. So I do see Hobies a lot online for pretty cheap. But I don't often see Jimin or Yoongi's for this set, so I'll have to keep an eye out um, as things start going back to normal and people start putting their cards up again, like Korean sellers, so uh, we'll see. But yeah, this is the set that I'd like to complete. And then we have version V and version E. I also really want to collect this set, but Yoongi's card is different than everybody else's and it just like makes me so angry <laughs> that I just, I haven't put any effort into collecting this set just simply because of that like I don't know why his like his is in a different background it's not in front of his pizza background so yeah I don't know why they did that but anyways that's why I have I decided like I wanted to collect version O instead of version E because it was like a debate between those two but the, his card just makes me so angry that I was like I can't do it <laughs> so I'll get it eventually but anyways and then like I mentioned, after this, everything is just on its own, like one page, just cause I don't have enough cards to justify it being on different pages. So this is a love yourself tier. So we have version Y, O, U, and R. So I do wanna collect version O, that is the set I have decided on. I actually really like these cards too. Um, but because I just had more of these cards, I was like, I'll just collect this set. I hate these cards. <laughs> Oh my gosh I know that's like mean but if I pull them out like they're very obviously crying and it's just like why did we need crying photo cards it's like really sad so I don't know I mean I'll collect them but I don't really want to <laughs> and I also don't like that they're um horizontal so yeah those are my least favorite photo cards actually that whole like version R of tier like that whole album just 
upsets me deeply. So I don't like the fact that they're not wearing shoes and they're, they're crying. It's just a lot. So <laughs> I'm going on a rant. But anyways, um, then we have Love Yourself Answers. So this is version S, E, L, and F. I would love to collect version F, but if you collect BTS photo cards, you know these are pretty popular and they honestly go for pretty expensive. So we'll see eventually. <laughs> I keep saying that eventually I'll do it. Eventually I'll collect these. I don't know when that it will be, but someday in several years. And also I did pull the lenticular. It's not a very like interesting lenticular, honestly, but I did actually pull this in my album. So I was very fortunate about that. Um, and I don't collect these, but since I pulled it, I was like, I may as well keep it. So yeah but this is the one that i'm trying to collect for <laughs> for this album it's not going so well as of right now but yes so that is the love yourself and then we get into persona so i do only have just one page of persona cards i only have the nine um of this set like i'm prioritizing version one so we have version one two three and four um, I just like these cards a lot. I like cards that are very, like, cohesive. I don't love selfie cards as much, which I know is an unpopular opinion. Like, most people love the selfie cards and don't like cards like this, but um, I just like how the full set looks when they're all like this. So, anyways, but, um, yes, that is the set that I'm attempting to complete first, but these are the ones I have. I would like to get Jin's version, which one don't I have? Version 3. Um, just because then I'd have the full gin set, but, um, that's not a huge priority as of right now. So we'll see eventually I'll get it, but for right now, I'm happy with just the nine. And then I did collect the full set of these, um, like postcard things. So I have all of the members for that. And then again, just this little thing here as a filler. And then... We have Map of the Soul 7. I did buy nine copies of Map of the Soul 7 against my better judgment, but um, so yes, I do have a, just a full page of them. So again, I will get more, but because I have a full page, I'm like not super um, like rushed at the moment to get more because then I'd have to like separate them onto their own page, which would be kind of annoying. So for now, I'm okay with just these, but yes and then after that we have just more like random bts photo cards that fit in nine pocket sleeves so this is the bts world um like pre-order luggage tag thing that you got if you ordered it on wepley or weaver shop i suppose it's called now um i had no idea that they were going to like sell it in north america so that's why i like bought it on weavers and then I saw it in stores after that and I was like, well, that was pointless, but I at least got the luggage tag and I do use the luggage tag like on my actual luggage. So, I mean, it has come in handy, but <laughs> I didn't really need to spend the extra money to get it shipped from Korea. But anyways, and then here is just the cards that I pulled in the album. So I did actually buy this Jin card, but I bought um, two copies of BTS World. So that's why I have that many cards for it. This card down here is from the Lights Japan album. Now I do not collect BTS Japanese items. It's just way, way too much effort for me. I only collect standard Korean cards for BTS, but because I was perusing eBay one day and I saw this for $5, I was like, I may as well just get it honestly because it's five dollars um it is legit by the way it's not like a f it wasn't fake these cards go for really cheap so if you actually maybe now that it's been out for a while maybe they don't but um when it first came out they were going for super cheap it's the ones that have like the holographic and stuff on them that go for expensive so if you're seeing these just regular ones and they're really expensive honestly i would probably pass and see if you can find them for cheaper but um, yeah, I just bought this because it was cheap and Jin's my bias and he looked really good. So, <laughs> but I normally do not buy Japanese stuff cause I just, I cannot justify it. So, and then this here is from memories of 2018. I was shocked when I pulled Jungkook, but 
anyways yes so that's memories of 2018 and then this is just like a vt cosmetics card i had an extra space so i just put it in here but i'll probably take it out when i get memories of 2019 so yeah that is that and then this page i like i meant to honestly fix all of these before this video and then i forgot but this is the little id photo things from season's greetings last year i don't think i'll keep these in my binder for very long because my binder is honestly getting like really thick so there's a few bts things that i think i'll take out but and this is one of them but for now i do have them in here and yeah I don't really have anything else to say about them. They're just ID photos. And this is from 2020 Seasons Greetings. I was shocked that I pulled Yoongi, so I was like, I need to put this in my binder because that never happens. So um, yes, it is his lenticular. I'll pull it out so we can see it do its thing. Hopefully this one is a lot more interesting than that love yourself lenticular. It actually moves nicely between the photos. But anyways, so that's why it's in here is because I pulled Yoongi and I was just like shocked, so um again i probably won't keep it in here forever but for now it's in here and then these are from the oh my god why am i blanking army membership for this year so i normally don't buy army membership because uh before this year it was like really hard to do for foreigners because you had to go through like fan cafe and everything and it was just exhausting so um, I had never bought it before, but this past year I was determined that I was going to go to muster, which as we all know, the world ended. So that didn't happen, but that's why I bought the membership is so that I could try and get into muster. And then they also ended up going on tour. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. And then it turned out that the army membership actually like had benefits for tour because you got to um, buy tickets a day early so I have sound check I'm like three rows from the stage I really really hope that they don't cancel the concert altogether and um refund our tickets because I have really good seats so anyways that was a long story but that's what these are from and then we just have the army bomb version 3 I do plan on getting the um special edition I just haven't yet and this is from the speak yourself tour final in seoul my friend got this for me for my birthday so thank you um and then this is from summer package this past year which i don't normally buy summer package or any of that extra stuff from bts but because um it was the last summer package and i really liked the concept of this one i decided to buy it so i pulled hobies and then my friend actually gifted me Jin's drawing diary as well. So that was very nice of her. And then that is actually it for my BTS stuff. So as you can see, we are now moving on to TWICE. So um, if you watched any of my TWICE unboxings, you'll know that I only collect one version of TWICE albums. So I do have a lot of photo cards because TWICE albums come with a lot of photo cards, but I don't have like a ton of photo cards, if you know what I mean. So um, this first page here, we just have the story begins, uh, TWICE Coaster Lane 1, Signal, and twice -tagram. And then this one is also from Twistagram. And then here we have Merry and Happy, What is Love? And this is also from What is Love? And then these are from Summer Nights and Fancy. And then more Fancy up here, Feel Special. I hate Feel Special photo cards. I'm just, uh, I hate them so much. Like, especially this one here. Like, I it looks like I could have made this card. Like, with this really kind of low-key ugly sparkly brown border like I don't know I don't know what JYP was thinking with these photo cards I like this one though with the one that has all of their um colors around it and I do like these gold cards so I mean like they did something right but like some of them I just mm, I don't like them. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not like a twice auntie or anything I just don't like the feel special photo cards um these are the more and more pre-order cards so I got version b so this is oh my goodness I got version B, so these are the um, pre-order cards that came with it. And then my more and more cards. So these are the ones I pulled in my album. This is another pre-order card. It just didn't fit with the other ones. And then this was the, oh my gosh, I'm missing a paper. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> what the heck? I like, didn't even notice that. 
Anyways, moving on. Um, this was like the first press little holographic card thing, I think. But yes, anyways, so that's it for the nine pocket stuff. And then honestly, the rest of my twice stuff is just in here randomly. Like it has no rhyme or reason of how it's in here. And also I did decide to put like the postcards and stuff in here, even though they're not random. So I will eventually take these out. I just like have them in here for now. So this is from What is Love, Twice Coaster Lane 1, um, the other one from Twice Coaster Lane 1, Merry and Happy, Signal, uh, this is from Fancy, it's the Lenticular, since I've been pulling all the other ones out, I may as well pull this one out, I pulled Che, and then these are the stickers from Twice Instagram. and then, oh my goodness, this is from More and More. I don't know. There's a random space there <laughs> where there's nothing. And then I actually broke this four pocket sleeve by accident. Um, and it ended up being perfect because now this stuff fits in here. Like really awkwardly fits in here, but it fits in here. So this is from Summer Nights and What is Love. And I know it looks like super clapped. I'm so sorry. But anyways, yeah, that's my twice collection. So moving on to my smaller collections, we have Ace. Let's just not talk about this page because it's really ugly. But anyways, <laughs> these are my Ace photo cards. So I only purchased Undercover, The Mad Squad, and now I really regret not doing Undercover because it's become kind of like the other Ace albums where it's just ridiculously expensive for no reason. So I don't know. We'll see. And maybe I'll eventually get it if I can find it for a normal price, but I did never purchase it, which is sad. But anyways, so this is the pre-order card from Mad Squad. And then I also bought it from My Music Taste so I could get the My Music Taste cards. So I was really fortunate enough to pull Dong Moon, who is my bias. So I was really, really happy about that. And then this is just the regular card that comes with the album. And then this is also from my choice stick or a slight stick. So I did do an unboxing for that actually pretty recently. So yes, I was happy to pull Dong Un again for that. So, and they're coming out with an album next month. So hopefully this page will be more filled <laughs> soon. And then this is the undercover, the Mad Squad, like temporary tattoos. This is random, which is why it's in here. So you can see I pulled the vocal unit. And then this is from their light stick. Again, the instruction page was random. I don't know. The ace does weird stuff. So anyways, I pulled Chan's little instruction page. So that is it for my ace collection. I know it's really small, but um, if you are a choice, you understand why <laughs> it's so small. Like it's just a nightmare trying to collect ace cards. So um, I don't foresee this collection growing too, too much in the future, but uh, this is what I have for now. So yeah. And then we move on to Idol. So I don't have too many Idol cards either. So I have my I Am cards and, or just one card rather, and then I Trust. So I actually, funny story, um, only received one lenticular in my albums. I bought both versions and one of them didn't have a lenticular. So it's unfortunate that that happened, but it is also like lucky that if anything was missing, it's the lenticular because these go for like $6 on eBay. So I can just buy the other one. And I mean, there was like a good chance anyways that I would have pulled a duplicate. So like, if anything was missing, I'm happy it's that. But yeah, I was like shocked. I was like, what the heck? Where is it? I thought I dropped it on the floor. Like you guys should have seen me. I didn't actually film an unboxing um, and I didn't post it because of that. So anyways, yes, these are my idol photo cards. They are also coming back next month, which is confirmed, but we don't know if it'll be a digital single or a single album. I'm not sure. I hope that they'll do a physical album because I'd like to collect more photo cards, but anyways. And then we just have um, the bigger items because Cube is stupid and they just decided that I made was going to have gigantic ass things. So I don't know why they did that <laughs> because they hate us. But anyways, so this is just the rest of the stuff from I Am and then I Made. And yeah, that is my idol collection. And then we have Tomorrow by Together or TXT. Um, I just kind of gave up, honestly, on decorating these pages because I just hated how ugly they were. So my apologies. This is not decorated. But 
Anyways, um, this is a sad collection because Big Hit, like Cube, puts stuff in stupid sizes. So they only have, the only um, cards I have from them that are nine pocket sleeve size are these ones from Dream Chapter Magic. So I did pull uh, Yeonjun and Kai and actually my Kai photo card is damaged. It came damaged and I don't know that you'll be able to see it, but there's a big fold right here. It came folded in half. I was like, I opened the package and I was like, oh my God. So I emailed Big Hit about it and they just basically were like, sucks to be you. So I have to keep it, but um, it's luckily like you can't tell really unless I point it out. So, um, or unless you like you hold it in your hand, you can like very evidently feel it, but at least it wasn't like ripped or something so and I don't trade photo cards so it isn't that big of a deal but it still kind of sucks because now if I ever want to like sell that album I can't but anyways moving on <laughs> um here we have the rest of the big txt photo cards so this is from dream chapter star I just forgot what it was called for a second. Dream Chapter Magic. And the thing about TXT photo cards that like makes me so mad is like, why, why do they have this thing in the corner? Like who, and it, the Dream Chapter star came with a key ring, like as though they expected you to pop this out and put these on a key ring. Like, I just know your audience, big hit, honestly. Like, I don't know why, why they are like that, but. <laughs> Anyways, and then these ones don't have the thing, so but these ones do. It's honestly confusing. So, and then these are um, the Dream Chapter Eternal. So, yeah. And then here I just have the rest of like random girl groups. So this is actually only Oh My Girl and Itzy. So, not too much of a shock there, but yes. So I have um, my nonstop photo card, and then it's icy and it's me. So I think Itzy's probably going to come back here pretty soon. So I'll probably um, have more photo cards after that. But yes. And then these were the pre-order things from Itzy's album. Let's just not talk about what's going on here. I honestly, I need to buy better um, sleeves. But anyways, so these were the pre-order sets. And then this is the non-stop like game marker. It does not stay in here very well, but... I didn't have a four pocket sleeve, like this would be the only thing to fit in a four pocket sleeve. So I just put it in here until I have more four pocket stuff in this section, but yeah, it doesn't stay in very well. So anyways, and then lastly, I just have this um, Chaerang thing. I don't know. It was the thing that came in the, L the It's Me album, like the front of it. So yeah. That is the rest of my girl group stuff. And then as I mentioned, I just decided not to decorate these. So this is the rest of my boy group stuff. So I have Monster X's follow cards. This is NCT Neo Zone album. I just forgot what it was called for a second. And then these are my Super M cards. And so I bought the uh, United version and then I actually bought a 10 version and pulled 10's photo card in my 10 version album. So. That was so exciting because 10 is my bias. So I was like, I pulled it and I was like, wait, are you supposed to pull the person whose like album it is? And then I watched a bunch of other unboxings and it is totally random. So I was just really lucky to um, pull 10, but yes, anyways. And then the last page here is just some other random Monster X things. So the little bookmark thing that you got in follow and then the American um, postcard thing. And that is actually everything so that is all of my photo cards I know I don't have a ton in comparison to like a lot of people who make um like photo card binder videos but I do still have quite a few and the binder is like protruding so I'm gonna have to split them up probably the next time that all of these groups make a comeback I'll probably have to split them into two binders but for now everything fits so it's all in one but anyways that is everything I have for you today thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye